Dear students, in this series of two modules, I will talk about the security and performance issues of web database applications. Uh, I will cover four security aspects in this module, two in the next modules along with the performance issues. Now what is the point over here? The point over here is that there are many security loopholes in web-based database applications. The reason being that the TCP IP protocol has security issues in it. It was not built and designed for e-commerce applications or banking transactions. So when the traffic is uh, moving over the internet, anybody with a certain a little amount of skill can intercept that traffic and do many malicious things on that traffic which is passing. Well, there's a little bit of background. So I will talk about the security issues. I will list the security issues in more detail. Then I will talk about the proxy servers and firewalls, which can be used to enhance the security, digital signatures and digital certificates and secured socket layer and the security which is built in Java and ActiveX. ActiveX is for the Internet Explorer. So what are the security issues? Here we have listed some of the about six of the security issues which deal with the data that is being passed is not intercepted it is private the data that is passed is passed as it is integrity is, in, is ensured it is not changed we know that who is sending the data we know who is the recipient of the data and the person who receives the data cannot say that he or she has not received the data and then is the unauthorized and malicious actions that uh, the client cannot perform at the server end and the server cannot perform at the client end right so of course I cannot go into more details because this is not a security course but I give you an idea so what is a proxy server and firewall a proxy server is something which is between the web server and the browser and when I make a request to the web server my request first goes to the proxy server and looks for what I am looking for at the proxy server. If it is there, it is retrieved from the proxy server instead of going to the web server. So that adds a level of buffer. So in this way, the proxy server defends the web server, doesn't directly go to the web server. What is a firewall? The firewall is that if I am on the intranet, and of course I am on the intranet and I have to expose my web server to my clients also so I put a machine which is a firewall in between which monitors the traffic which goes from the internet to my internal servers and of course what goes from the internal server to the internet so that is done with the firewall prevents unauthorized access so what is a firewall? A firewall can be hardware, it can be software, it can be a combination of both. And of course, a proxy server can also act as a firewall. Why? Because it is like a buffer. It is between the internet and the intranet. It acts as a buffer. It can be acting as a firewall. So we have to ensure the control. So digital signatures and uh, digital certificates so what a digital signature? A digital signature generates a piece of code corresponding to the contents of the message along with a certain key. And what is the property of the digital signature? Authentication is through a public key. Private key is kept secret. Right? If you remember in one or two slides back, I told you about authenticity and integrity. That's what is happening over here. And this is unique for the data which has been signed. So if the data is changed, then then this this the that that string over here that is also changed. It will not match. So signed data cannot be changed. Can't be changed. If it's changed, then it will be known. So the integrity is ensured. About digital certificate is an attachment. Unlike generating a string of text, is an attachment. And what it does, it verifies the authenticity of the sender. Of the sender. So what it involves, a CA is a certification authority. A certification authority is an authority 
reputable which ensures which says that yes this person a is the actual person a and has a public key with the ca also and use that public key used for decoding details are in the notes so the concept over here is a digital signature is a string and a digital certificate is a file which comes along and they are encrypted and they ensure authenticity and the integrity so then we have ssl the secure socket layer and we have the secure http also so ssl what it does it it is a encryption protocol right and ssl secures the connection while shtp secures individual messages so it is the message versus the connection you see the difference message versus the connection. but remember without trustworthy digital certificates from a certification authority these protocols are insecure so either i use ssl or i use shtp what i need in both cases i need a certification authority and it should be a trustworthy certification authority that will ensure the security and the integrity so that's the message i want you to take today thank you very much